What's up everybody, welcome back to the show. I want to share some mail with you today. I've got some prints in the mail this last week and a beautiful book and I wanna share this with you today. I do apologize for the audio, I know it is a little echoey and I will explain why in just a minute. Anyway, I wanna start with these. Um, my friend John Free sent these prints along and uh, many of you know John because I did a little documentary on him a few weeks ago. If you haven't seen it, I will link it in the show notes below. But this is a print that he made. This is Richard Thompson and Richard Thompson is a fantastic British singer-songwriter guitarist who's been around probably since the 70s and does some amazing work. Um, this is the, this, this record, or sorry, this record, this image was used on a record called Small Town Romance that he used a long time ago. And I've always known the album and I just realized recently that John took this image. And I didn't realize that. And I mentioned it to John. He goes, oh, Richard Thompson's my brother-in-law. And so it was really kind of cool. And we talked about Richard for a while. And so I mentioned that I'd always loved that cover. And he said, well, it was an off-the-cuff picture that was taken. He said Richard was practicing and this was taken in New Orleans and he got up to shut the doors and, and John happened to be walking by and got the photo. Uh, very off the cuff, but I think this is such a beautiful image. And so I mentioned to him that that had always been a special image to me and that I'd gotten into Richard Thompson when I was in college. One of my best friends who builds guitars um, was a big Richard Thompson fan and uh, hadn't got me into him. And so he said, well, he sent these to me. I didn't know they were coming. They just showed up in the mail one day with a handwritten note that says, the, the print of Richard is for you. And so thank you, John. And he said, then the print of the dog is for your friend who builds guitars. And I love this. It's a dog sleeping in a guitar case. Anyway, I thought that was very cool. I can't wait to get these framed and put up. And uh, John is... As you can tell from that video, a very intense person, but he's also a very sweet and awesome human being, and I've really enjoyed becoming friends with John. Uh, so thank you, John, for those images. I thought that was very cool. The second thing I wanna share with you is a book that was sent to me by a gentleman named Antoine Leblonde. And Antoine lives in France and asked if he could send this to me. And I said, sure. And this is a book that he made and it is a collection of images of trains. He lived in Japan from 2010 to 2015, I believe, and put together this small portfolio of train images. And I love the cover. Basic, simple, um, wonderful outline of a train. And as you go through here, um, Antoine does some beautiful work. Um, there's trains set in these beautiful landscapes of you know, dramatic weather and snow and this is really a nice book. Um, sometimes they're juxtaposed, I don't know if you can tell here, with other landscape images, but in a way that makes sense, I think, visually, and it's a really interesting collection of images, and I really like how this is put together. Um, Antoine is obviously a very talented photographer, but beyond that, one of the things I like the most about this book is that everything has this feel to it of you know the the train line so you know with rails and these these long in his case um, you know vertical images that are wonderfully placed in a vertical format and the use of negative space like leaving a page blank occasionally um, when there's not an image to be juxtaposed uh, this is kind of put together with some of these kind of abstract pairings like this one of, of you know you have the bird on one side and what appears to be a crop in of a roof or something on the other I may have that wrong uh, anyway really really beautifully done and I, I think this is just fantastic Fantastic. Um, I think every now and then he'll, he'll uh, like for instance, this one uses a black page for the negative space, which you know works really well with this train on the on the left hand side. Anyway, really nicely done. One other thing I want to point out on here is Antoine did tell me that there are 200 copies of this book that were made, and so I am very honored that he wanted to share one with me, and so that's why I wanted to share it on the show. But there's a train beam or a graphic of you know one of these I beams in the in the front of the book, which is actually hand painted, and the, he used a stencil and acrylic paint, and he said yes indeed he did paint 200 books I thought that was really cool and you know you guys with the you know you've seen me do mail stuff on these shows before and I'm really quite impressed with the overall quality of what people send me. I mean, it's really humbling, first of all, that they would want to share it with me uh, to put on the show, but I think also just, you know, the care that goes into this. When you're presenting your work, it's one thing to show some JPEGs or put things on a DVD, you know. It's another thing to go the extra mile and print a really nicely done book, and this book is fabulous. I love the smell of ink and paper when they're really high quality, and this book has that. It's really, really beautiful. So, Antoine, thank you so much for the book. This is amazing. And then finally, this isn't something that was handmade, but this is just a nice gift from a viewer. Um, this is from a gentleman named Gene who wrote, Hi Ted, I have recently taken up photography. I really enjoy and appreciate your videos. Very informative. I work for KB Covers. I wanted to give you these. Please let me know if you'd like any more. Um, Gene, thank you. Very nice gesture. And I want to share these with everybody because they are keyboard covers that go on your keyboard on your computer, but there are different editions of these and they give you the shortcuts. I don't know if you can tell that on there. They're colored, but they also give you the shortcuts for working in anything from Lightroom, Photoshop, 
Premiere, uh, Final Cut Pro. And so these are really cool. I'm a big fan of keyboard shortcuts. Uh, they cut the time way down. And so I think it's really cool that he sent these and there's a whole plethora of them in here. So Gene, thank you very much. It was a very nice gift and a nice gesture and I'm really glad you enjoyed the show. Um, the last thing I want to mention, there's actually two items. First of all, I am doing a crowdfunding campaign right now, uh, which many of you are probably familiar with. And the whole idea is, after I did the video on John Free and released that, um, I really want to do more of these. That was very well received. People really liked it. And I think it's important um, for what I do making videos about photography to be able to document living artists. And I want to be able to do more of these. One of the biggest problems that I have is travel. And that's what makes them economically more challenging uh, to, to make work. And so what I wanted to do is for the next video that I produce in this series is that I really want that to be special and, and really go an extra mile with it because I think it it's going to say a lot in determining the future of what I'm able to do with the series. Anyway, having said that, I launched a crowdfunding campaign um, last Monday. And within 48 hours, we'd already blown past what I was asking for on that. And it's continued to be overfunded. We were looking for an initial uh, $5,000 just to do some traveling. And when I say we, I'm saying you and me. That's what I was trying to get for that. And just at the time I'm recording this, we're just under $11,000 right now. So it's over 200% funded. So I wanted to say thank you for you guys on this. Um, the higher it goes, I'm already starting to think of what I'm gonna do for next steps. And so international travel is a possibility at this point. Um, definitely doing multiple videos. So we're gonna fund kind of a series here is what this is turning into. And so that's what uh, we're able to do now. And the thing that's the most special about this to me is when you guys donate something, and you know, you can write in an amount you wanna donate on there. You don't have to do one of the packages of what you get in return. And I've had people donate as little as a dollar. and. That means so much to me because, you know, that is just simple, a simple gesture of saying that what I do is important to you, and I really appreciate that, and I want to thank you guys very much for that. One last thing I want to talk to you guys about, and this is why this episode is very echoey and a little bit bittersweet, um, this is the last show to be filmed in this loft. And I have been in this building for over 10 years now. I started the show when I lived um, two doors down the hall, and then I moved here three years ago. And just about every video that I've done for the art of photography, just about has been done in one of these two locations uh, in this building. And it's bittersweet for me, and I'm sad to be leaving. Uh, I mentioned this a few months ago in a video, but as you can see, the vacant lot across the street uh, now has a fence around it and a ditch digger in place, and they're going to start digging a big hole in the ground. Um, they're going to build two phases of this project. It's going to be two towers, 16 stories a piece, I think, and it's like over 700 apartments. There is no way, and you guys can probably hear stray noise in here, like airplanes and stuff. There's a hospital on this side uh, with a care flight center. So I have to stop recording because helicopters will go by every now and then. And I mean, it's just very loud down here already. There's no way I can continue to film down here with the street construction going in. And so um, the movers have already been here and I'll spin the camera around and this is a little ghetto here, but you can see over this way, what used to be my office area is completely gone and only a few things remain, which are my, my photo enlarger and some of the more fragile items that I didn't want the movers to take. All our furniture is gone. And uh, anyway, so it's kind of sad for me in some ways to be saying goodbye to this studio because um, I love Dallas, I love Deep Ellum. Uh, there's a really wonderful energy and maybe one day I can move back once all the construction is settled down. But uh, you know, having a view of the skyline out my window is inspiring. I mean, it's been really cool. Um, but, you know, I guess nothing gold can stay, as they say, and I will be moving. So I am moving down the street to Fort Worth. Fort Worth is a sister city to Dallas. It's about 30 miles down the road. And we moved last Sunday, and I have to say, I love it. Fort Worth is amazing. It is beautiful. It is a very art-centric town, more so, I think, than Dallas is. There are three wonderful art museums there. Um, the Eamon Carter's there, which has a wonderful photography collection. And so I'm hoping that being there, I'll be able to maybe possibly incorporate some of that into the show as well. Um, I just think Fort Worth is going to be amazing. It's very quiet there. Um, I've got a better studio set up um, and actually it's going to um, allow me to work uh, much more easily. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that to you guys. And um, anyway, so this is the last show here. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Later.